modern high voltage and medium voltage cables are precisely engineered components key to safe and efficient distribution of electrical energy. Cable insulation at HV and MV experience large electrical stress as the distance between conductor and the grounded shield is very less compared to overhead lines. High voltage cables are engineered to minimize electrical stress on insulation. Just for information, electrical stress is measured in volts per meter. Cable shield are provided to achieve symmetrical and uniform electrical field distribution around center conductor thereby minimizing electrical field stress. National electrical code standard only allow non-shielded cables for voltage less than 2000 volt and with some listed exception can be used up to 2400 volt. Application above 2400 volt should be shielded cables which means cable terminations are required for all cables applied at voltage above 2000 or 2400 volts. In this video, the terms HV and MV are used interchangeably and refers to cable that are shielded in some fashion. A shielded cable has uniform electrical field density along the axis, but the field itself varies in the radial direction. When HV cable need to be connected to an equipment, the grounded shield need to be stripped back which then distorts the symmetrical electric field distribution. Electric field tends to concentrate at the edge of shield discontinuity and will eventually overstress and damage the cable insulation. Cable terminations help manage the electric field stress on the insulation and hence prevent premature cable damage. Except for unshielded MV cable, all MV and HV cable require some sort of cable termination. With reference to HV cable terminations, equipotential line is a commonly used term. Like contour lines on a map that traces lines of equal altitude, equipotential line connect locations that are at same electric potential. Conventionally, electric field originate on positive charge and terminate on negative charge. In the case of cable, Electric field originate at the center conductor and terminate on the grounded shield. Equipotential lines can easily be drawn once we know the electric field pattern as the equipotential lines are always perpendicular to the electric field. When HV or MV cable need to be terminated, shield need to be removed for a distance to expose the center conductor. If the shield is not sufficiently stripped back, the small distance between conductor and shield is not sufficient to prevent flashover or surface tracking. While this elevates any flashover concerns, electric field distribution around the conductor axis is distorted. Electric field is no longer symmetrical around the cable axis and now congregates around the edge of the grounded shield. Note the high electric field stress near the cable shield discontinuity will eventually cause localized insulation overstress that can lead to cable damage. To prevent cable insulation overstress and damage, steps need to be taken to control electric field when terminating MV and HV cables. This is known as electric stress control and is the reason behind the need for specialized terminations when apply MV and HV cables. There are two common methods for stress control. First is geometric stress control and the other method is capacitive stress control. Geometric stress control method increases the effective thickness of the insulating material near shield discontinuity. This is the method that is used from early days of cable terminations. The cone shaped component forces the electric field stress to be spread out more evenly thus reducing the stress at the discontinuity. Disadvantage of geometric stress control is the thicker profile, limited bend flexibility and difficulty of installation. Capacitive stress control method is also known as material based stress control. In this method, a material with high dielectric constant is added to the area where shield is removed. The dielectric constant of the material is much higher compared to the insulation material, for example, XLP or EPR insulation. 
Application of this material causes the electric field to refractively flow through the material with high dielectric constant rather than through the cable insulation. The high dielectric constant material increases the capacitance of the layer, thus the material can store more charge than the insulating material, thereby controlling the localized electric field. And at a macro scale, reduces the electric field stress in the termination. The advantage of capacitive stress control is, the final termination will have thinner profile, bend flexibility and ease of installation. While geometric stress control design is achieved by direct injection molding or by cold shrink design, capacitive stress control could be heat shrink, cold shrink or hand wrap. When the symmetrical construction of a cable is disturbed, equipotential lines will no longer be symmetrical around the conductor axis. Equipotential lines for an unterminated cable with shield removed show close spacing in the area around the shield discontinuity indicating high electrical stress. The main purpose of cable termination is to redirect this stress from the shield discontinuity. This is how the equipotential lines for a geometric and capacitive type cable termination look like compared to a cable with no stress control. Note the increased space between equipotential lines in the area around shield discontinuity indicates reduced electric field stress in that region. So far we have seen the need of electric field stress control for a cable when it is cut into a section. What if some other factors might be affecting the electric field stress of a cable termination? Cable termination used in outdoor environment with high level of contamination are subjected to accumulation of dirt, dust, salt, etc. that can cause leakage current to develop between conductor and ground, the magnitude of which depends on the resistance of insulation surface. Additional factors like solar radiation, heat and thermal cycling also affects the cable insulation. This would cause the insulation of cable termination to flash over which can be simply due to external pollution or due to aging of the insulating material. In order to avoid that, cable terminations have the weather protection sheds made from insulating material. These insulation sheds are used in cable termination substation insulators, lightning arresters to increase the effective creepage distance between the conductor and the grounded structure. Cable terminations need to be made of track resistant material. However, this alone may not be sufficient to increase the tracking resistance and prevent tracking damage. Insulation skirts are used to create breaks in the contamination path and to increase tracking resistance. This reduces the probability of tracking damage. Use of skirts also help in keeping the cable terminations compact since the creepage distance is increased by the use of skirts avoiding the need for longer termination. So folks, that's all for today. If I missed something in this video, then do provide me your valuable feedback in the comment section. Also, do not forget to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if not done yet. Thanks.